so hi guys we are back with another video uh, this video is about uh, Twilio video call plugin we at Chaco just developed a new uh, plugin that uses uh, Twilio video API and allows us to add real time one on one video call in your application and that's for free and uh, this this plugin can be used for multiple applications so like it can be a counseling app or tutoring app or like one on one session or anything so today I'll tell you how to use this plugin so other features are you can also like uh, switch cameras between front and back like in your phone or any other f uh, device you have on your uh, laptop or web or uh, desktop it also allows you to mute or unmute your mic so this is the plugin page and all the links will be shared in the description of the video so let's just get started so first what you're going to do is like you will go to console.twilio.com so here you will make an account the and after making an account that's for free no charges for this account so they will you can just use the trial version and they will give you just uh, I think $15 at first to like test out everything and that won't be used as well because like the this one on one video like this uh, uses a room which uh, doesn't charge anything so what uh, what you're going what you will be doing is that uh, you will create an account on Twilio then come here like it's explore products and go to video this is how this is where you will configure your rooms so basically Twilio creates a room and then the participants are added on the room so uh, yes so you're going to go into manage here and then room settings so you will choose go and like maximum artist was like two allowed and uh, all this and then you're going to save this settings so this is done and then you will go straight to uh, API keys and tokens okay just a sec so it's just a two-factor authentication here like I just so there we go so now this is like you will like create API key from here so this is like friend key name what you want like it will be displayed on the dashboard you re the region will be US1 and the standard type so uh, I've already have my keys so what you will be doing is like create the key that will provide an API key and API secret that you will copy and paste it like save it somewhere and also you will be needing these credentials like this is the account SID and this is the auth token so these four things you will be using so what you will be doing is like then going to your application go to uh, add plugins just write video video by Chakor it's like it's saying testing here because it's my app and I'm just for testing purposes here this app is also using for testing purposes so uh, so you'll use this Twilio video and by Chakor so uh, just enter the account SID which is this and uh, like API secret API secret over here and API keys the one you created and then auth token auth token is this uh, then what you will be doing is going to design so this is just uh, like a, a demo page I created so uh, so there are multiple actions here as well so if you go to like plugin settings it says uh, connect a video call disconnect change camera and everything so what's the process so if I go here and uh, expand the video chat so this here is the uh, uh, wait so this is the video element and uh, 
this is the video element so after placing the video element you will be going to uh, so like I also have a button here as well connect button so what's the workflow here so the connect button is like you're going to create a token so like it be just uh, it will be a room name whatever room name you want a unique ID it will like you can it can be your user unique ID then then by using that token like this is the workflow connect video call element and then the token you just created that will be returned over here and the room name you created that also will be returned here and then it will collect your call so these are just workflows that are like related to my app because I'm just creating tokens in my app as well and then this is the get video devices it will get all the video devices you have and just paste them over here in the drop down so you can change your camera you can select the video device you want to uh, like you can you, you you will be using to display your video to the other user so this will return your all the video devices that are in your laptop phone or desktop and then place it in this drop down and then we can use them to change our camera so this is what connect function does and also uh, you can use disconnect video call element will disconnect it and then can use mute and we can mute the video and unmute video and then this is the change camera change camera would uh, like this will be the id of the uh, media devices you got from here so like what this returns you need to pass them in the change camera and in the change camera action and then is this id will be the drop downs value because that uh, to like change which camera we want to change and this and then this will be the audio uh, mute audio unmute audio these are like thing so i'll just go with it now what if i collect this if i connect this button so it just give me a video chat element and also we're just creating a room just a sec so they here I got a room over here so I think the video is not displaying on my end because it's like I'm using to this for this uh, OBS studio so what happens is like you get a video over here and you can use them like this give my so that was like the drop down gives me the uh, choose from which camera I want to like it in f in phones it will be like front or back so this is how you will be using this plugin so uh, the token you just created you what you will do is like send that token so it was this one if I can go connect here so it just creates me a room uh, just creating a room and there is this gives me a room ID so what you will do is copy this whole link and uh, s like that will be your logic whatever you want to do but this room name is important the, uh, this room name what you will do is like when you send this room name to the participant so this will be your uh, unique room ID so you will create a token so this will be for the participant so the first action was for the host and the second one was for the participant though the participant will be creating a token but with this room name so this room name and unique id and then connect with this token again so this is how the other participant will join